What's up everyone, welcome back with me Nathan. The Chinese tech company Alibaba has just released a new powerful AI model which is called the Quantree model. In this video, we're going to take a look at this model and see how capable it is with a few tasks. So earlier today, the Quant team officially launched their new Quantree LLM series. The main offerings of Quantree models are the two MOE models or mixture of expert models. First, there's the Quantree 235B A22B. The series code means that the model has 235 billion parameters with 22 billion active parameters that's going to be used for each request. Next, there's the lightweight MOE model which has 30 billion parameter with 3 billion active parameters. Below that, the team also released 6 dense models ranging from 32 billion parameters to the smallest at 0.6 billion parameters. And then there are other variants as well such as the FPA and base models. The models were released under the Apache 2.0 license and they're optimized for 32k and 128k context window. For the performance, the main Quantree MOE models are very powerful as you can see in this benchmark. The flagship Quantree 235B model is on par with top tier models like DeepSeek R1, Grok3, Gemini 2.5 Pro, and OpenAI 01 model. It only loses slightly in every benchmark when compared to Gemini 2.5 Pro, but it wins against the rest, which is very good for an open source model. Next, here's the benchmark for Quantree 30 billion parameters, the mini version of the main model. It's also doing pretty good in comparison to many top models such as Gamma 3, DeepSeq V3, and GPT-4 Omni. And this is probably the model that we can run locally as the size is pretty much small enough for consumer laptops. From the benchmark alone, we can see that Quen3 is pretty awesome at coding and agentic capabilities as the model can use MCP servers to extend its capabilities. Now the key features which really set these models apart from anything else is the hybrid thinking mode. This is I believe the first open wake models which enables you to disable thinking on demand or enable it. So there are two modes. One is thinking mode. In this mode, the model takes time to reason step by step before delivering the final answer. This is great for complex reasoning tasks. While in non-thinking mode, the model provides quick near instant responses suitable for simpler questions, where speed is more important than depth. Quentry models also support 119 languages and dialects. This extensive multilingual capability opens up new possibilities for international applications, enabling users worldwide to benefit from the power of these models. For the training data, it's pre-trained on 36 trillion tokens, about twice of Quant 2.5 training data. The dataset is also improved by increasing the proportion of knowledge-intensive data, such as STEM, coding, and reasoning tasks. In an internal task, Quantree MOE base models achieve similar performance to Quant 2.5 dense base models while using only 10% of the active parameters, which sounds pretty amazing. With advancements in model architecture and more effective training methods, the result is a better model with improved coding and agent capabilities. You can see right now on the screen here that it's capable of doing different sorts of tasks on the computer as well as taking on different actions with tool use and function calling. Now all this sounds great but we will see how Quantree really performs in this video with a set of tasks. To access Quantree model and try it out, you can open the demo at Hugging Face website or from its own website at chat.quant.ai. If you want to use its API for AI agents, you can go to openrouter.ai or modelscope.cn sites. If you want to download the model locally, you can use either Olama or LM Studio. Okay, it's time to test the Quantree model. We're going to draw some math coding and logic tasks to test this model and see how well it performs. I'm going to use the chat.quant.ai platform for this test. And here are the tasks that we're going to use. These tasks will assess the model in several different categories from math equation, software engineering, and plain logic. So for the first task, we're going to create an SVG of a solar system with sun at the center and five orbiting planets. Each planet orbits the sun with different speeds. Each orbit should be a visible elliptical path. Label each planet with text that follows the planet. The label for five planets are Mercury, 
Venus, Earth, Mars, and Jupiter. This will test the model in terms of creatively creating visuals using SVG and figuring the math for the motions. Let's copy this prompt and paste it into the Quant chat box and fire away. I will pause the video here and skip ahead to when the generation is done. Okay, so here's the results given by Quan. Here we can see the code. And then there is a list and check marks to show what features are implemented in the code. We can copy this code into an HTML file. Or we can also open the artifact that's provided by the platform. Quan artifact is very similar to Cloud Artifact or ChatGPT Canvas in which it can be used to run code. Okay, this output is great, but a few of the planet labels are hard to see, so let's fix that. Make all the planet labels text white, and then send the prompt again. Alright, now Quant regenerated a new SVG, and here all planet labels can be seen clearly. There seems to be a little glitch here as the text kind of disappears midway, but that's okay, this test will be a pass. Now for the second test. Create a simple but functional Kanban board like Trello using Vue.js. Users should be able to add columns, create tasks, drag tasks between columns, and rename or delete everything. Keep the entire app in a single file as one component, save data in the browser. Open a new chat window, turn on the artifacts, paste the prompt, and then turn on the thinking mode for the best results. Okay, so I will pause the video again and skip ahead to the result. Okay, so the app actually throws an error in the artifact, so I'm going to copy this uh, result and then paste it into an HTML file. And here is what Quant3 generated for us. The board UI is functional. It actually fulfills all the requirements, such as creating, editing, and deleting boards and tasks, as well as dragging a task between boards. With that, I will mark this second task as a pass. The third task is to build a procedural city generator using the HTML5 Canvas API. It should draw a top-down view of a city with randomly generated elements such as streets, buildings, parks and intersections, include simple animations like cars moving along, likes in buildings, and people in parks. The city should randomly regenerate with each refresh but follow a consistent logic. The output size is 1000 times 600 pixels and show the output in one HTML file. Send this prom, and alright, so this is what Quant regenerated for us. I would say the result is quite good. There's the streets, the buildings, the parks, and cars, with the animations. So let's try to refresh this page. And yes, the layout changed, so with that result, this task is also a pass. For the next test, it's a logical question to test the thinking power and instruction following of the model. The question is, a farmer owns a fox, a chicken, and a bag of grain. He needs to cross a river using a small boat that can only carry himself and one other item at a time. If left alone, the fox will eat the chicken, and the chicken will eat the grain. What is the minimum number of crossings the farmer must make to get all three items safely across the river without any being eaten, and in what order should he move them? The answer format is number of crossings, and then step-by-step -step move list. Okay, so copy this program and paste it into Quantry. And here's the answer given by Quen. It's actually the correct answer. The number of crossings is seven. Uh, first, the farmer will take the chicken because it's okay to leave the fox with the grain. Then the farmer go back to take the fox across, then take the chicken back, get the grain across, then go back to get the chicken. All right, so Quantry also passed this test. Now for the final test, create a minimalist CSS-only painting of a sunset over mountains reflected in a lake. Use no images or SVGs, only HTML and CSS. The painting should have a sun, mountain peaks, and their reflections in the lake. Make it responsive so the painting scales well on different screen sizes. Okay, so here's the painting generated by Quantry. It missed the reflections of the mountains in the lake, so let's try to fix it. I'm just going to tell it the reflection is not visible. Let's skip the result again. Okay, this time the mountain completely disappears leaving only the sun and the lake. I'm going to give this one more try, and I'm going to turn on the thinking mode and see if it works this time. Alright, so the result is still wrong as the mountain reflections are nowhere in the painting. So this means Quant3 failed this task. And now we have finished all 5 tasks. 
I have to say, Quentry is a good model, especially for an open source model. It's a very great addition in the space of AI, definitely a viable alternative to top models. Quentry is definitely a huge step forward in the open wake AI model space, and I definitely think that the way Quentry was trained will be used to train future models as well. Or at least they will build from that, which is very valuable for people developing AI models. And that brings us to the end of this video. So, what do you think about the new Quantry model? If you have the hardware, I think it's worth trying the 30B MOE model as it seems to be quite capable. At least until DeepSeek R2 comes out. I hope you all enjoyed today's video and get some value out of it. Let me know your thoughts or questions in the comments. I will join the conversation and reply as often as I can. If you're new to the channel, Cognaton is a channel dedicated to simplify complex tech topics so that you can master them easily. So make sure you subscribe if that's something you find interesting or useful. Make sure you like this video, turn on the notification bell, all the good stuff as it helps this channel to grow. With that being said, thanks again for watching until the end. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in other videos. Bye bye.